What happened to all the all the Anunnaki and all and Toth and all them? They had two wars. The first pyramid war almost eradicated them, but they got they started over again. The second pyramid war, bad. Mm. That one almost decimated the planet. You see how when you look at Earth, like from Google Earth, you see a lot of those big deserts going across. People say, oh, that's just natural geological formations over time. This has become an arid desert. No, that's war. Hmm. If you go to Egypt and stick your hand deep in the sands, eventually you're going to come up with balls of glass. How can you get glass and sand? 3,000 plus degree temperatures. You go to Mohenjo-Daro in the Indus Valley. What are you going to see there? Dead bodies still in the streets from thousands of years ago, still holding hands, never been scavenged. The buildings that they lived in turned to glass. How can that be? We're talking about 3,000 plus degree temperature weapons fire. We're talking about this war that happened in the ancient past. Amun-Ra wanted to continue his, he started the first war to take over the earth early because he didn't want to wait for his processional period to, to rule. And then this is the guy who says, you must say amen after everything. You say amen. Everything you give thanks for, you're saying amen to him. So when yeah. you say amen, you're thanking him, by the yeah. way. A brutal killing guy. But anyway, so he says, <laughs> it's a fact. He, so he's, he's, he, he started one war to take over early, which he won. Yeah. He then started a second war to stay in power. And, and in that second war, he escaped. Uh, he was almost killed. But he left his kingship and the, and the finances of the kingdom to the Ra Kam. And R-A-K-A-M. But that translates into modern words. Kam translates into child's. So now you translate raw child's raw child. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Which sounds like it might work, only except for the Rothschild name was not adopted by the Bauer family until the 18th century, which was 17, September of 1744 A.D. It's on record. That is not the derivative of Rothschild. It is Red Shield. And it was named after the grandfather's um, house. His house was red, the house of Rothschild. Billy pilfered this idea from Jordan Maxwell, who was also a social engineer long ago. Him and Zachariah Sitchin, they were doing almost exactly the same thing that Alex Jones does. They take some factual information, and they mix it up, and they lead you to the wrong conclusion. Amin Ra lived in ancient Egypt before the Great Flood. So from ancient Egypt till 1744 AD, they did not go by the Rothschild name. So what he's saying is completely impossible. Here's a clip of Jordan Maxwell explaining it. This is where Billy stole it from. Yeah, here is a red shield, red shield, Rothschild. And what do you see as a symbol of fascism? That is fascism was an authoritarian political movement uh, the last sentence, it says, its name was derived from a fascist, a Roman symbol for authority consisting of a bundle of rods and an axe. I've done 42 years of research on the Roman system of fascism, Nazism, and I can tell you the papacy is the bottom line if you want to talk about fascism. Got him! Yeah. <laughs> I think he was going to rock. The him. Yeah. yeah. Got him. See you right there. Right. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> Rothschild. So the yeah. Rock Kim ends up being the Rothschild yeah. banking dynasty. Yeah. Seven hundred trillion dollar dynasty. Wow. Still running the planet until this day. Are they really? Oh yeah. They run all the all the uh, banks, all the central banking systems. Oh, tell globally. Them. This is awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's like my YouTube yeah. wormhole live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So Rock Kim ends up being the yeah. Rothschild banking dynasty. Yeah. But didn't the Rothschild banking dynasty start in like Austria or something in modern times? Like yeah, even the host goes ahead and calls them out for that. The, the timing is not correct. When you have these kind of people that you put in positions of power and, yeah. these, and, you, uh, and they continue to fund and help each other, they always find a way to get back to where they want to be. And so they understood that it was, it was in their DNA. Can you tell us what that is? We want to See, if you have to be passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. See, they're passionate about putting their boot on people's necks. No, 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 no. They don't get their hands dirty. They don't uh, put their boot on anyone's neck. They send other people to put their boots on people's necks. And I, I don't know about you, um, but uh, I was not meant to be ruled. And most, most people don't believe that they are free and that uh, nobody has a right to rule over them. Just like, you know, if you're a slave, the, the slave doesn't believe that the slave owner has a 
a uh, birthright or divine right to rule over them. I'm sorry. Billy might have sold his ass to the Rothschild dynasty so that way he can get elevated and pretend that he's a millionaire and uh, get, get all this fancy funding and TV shows and all that stuff. He might have sold his, but he can't sell my ass. And oh, we, really? They're mm. passionate. I remember one of the Rothschilds, I can't remember which, which one it was. I don't know if it was Evelyn or the other one. He says, we have the right to rule over people. <laughs> exact, exact statement. <laughs> yeah. They believe that they have the right to, to, to rule over us wow. and to oversee us. They believe that's their genetic lineage. These uh, central banks that the Rothschilds have, have created. Yeah. Is there any benefit to them? Like, is it, is it nice to have a central bank? Like, if you were to make the argument for them, what yeah. would you say? Well, listen, I mean, hey, I mean, anyone who can make trillions of dollars off of money that doesn't exist. It's pretty good. Idea. Pretty good damn deal. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just punch a couple of zeros and zeros and ones into a computer and then all of a sudden it turns into trillions of dollars of money that backed by absolute nothing but consciousness attribution. If we had a billion dollars in this room right now and it was negative 30 and we had to sleep here overnight, knowing that we we're going to get pulmonary edema from breathing in cold air, we'd burn it. Hmm. Because now the value of the, of the money is only heat to keep us alive for one more day. Mm. Money is just what we consciously attribute to it. So how have they convinced us that we should con consciously attribute value to this money? Goes back to the Sumerian tablets. They, you go back, you discover where the whole thing was implemented, where these Anunnaki gods put this monetary system in place thousands of years ago. Yeah. And they said, okay, if you, um, we're going to have to really uh, monetize this system that we're creating. So yeah. you have lambs, you have apple orchards. You bring two satchels of apples, that's a value of one lamb. Right. If when you get to him, he only has, doesn't have a lamb, he's going to give you an IOU. And we have the I, we have millions of IOUs in cuneiform. In which Billy doesn't even know how to read in cuneiform. He claims to. He says you can get it online. But uh, I, I got to question his translations altogether. He was reading from a script that is prepared for him to read from. The same thing with uh, gold. You know what he said about adding a value to money? That's true. The only value that money has is what we assign to it. If we wouldn't accept currency, if we did not accept currency, then it has no value. It's the same with gold. Um, what he's not telling you is that uh, they were, their family, their lineage, um, had the ability or control of alchemists. They had the ability to take base metals and turn them into gold. You can turn lead into gold. There's two ways of doing it. And uh, one of them is through a process of purification using bone and flame. Uh, to absorb any of the impurities and then it will convert lead to gold and the other way is an alchemical process it's alchemy you know the thing that they used to kill people for practicing was alchemy <laughs> it was it was considered heresy uh, but it requires mercury uh, in order to create gold from lead using a chemical process and it just so happens that the Rothschild family owns all of the mercury mines so, I mean, here's a few things. Yeah. We discovered them. So I go to him. I get the first time I get my lamb, I go home. The second time I come back, it's now offering time. He only has enough to give me a half a lamb. I got to give him two satchels of apples. I get a half a lamb and I owe you for another half. I come back a month later, man, there's a shortage on lambs now. This is uh, fractional reserve now, banking that yeah. you're describing. I give yes. you a leg and, and, and I give you a head. So this is really a function. Uh, my understanding is this is a function of like the... The problem is really the weight of gold, mm -hmm. like at least when it entered like the, the true banking system in Europe. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard to just carry your gold around all the, yeah. all the time. Right. So then <laughs> if somebody has your gold, mm -hmm. they can give you the IOUs for the gold. You right. can pay in those IOUs knowing full well there's gold in there. Mm -hmm. But if you start handing out more IOUs than there is gold, nobody's going to ask because we all believe the gold is oh, there, but it's there. not really there. And that's no. kind of our banking system. Exactly. Fiat. Right now. And that's that's when people say, I think banks only need to have like 10% or 20% of Correct. the actual fund. Here's something else you didn't know, I'm sure. This right here that you're looking at, this uh, sarcophagus, was never meant to be a tomb. It was not meant for burial. It had a different purpose. Um, back in the days of Nostradamus, Leonardo da Vinci, and even the Khosrov Mir, ancient societies and even current governments have dabbled in methods to try to magnify the electromagnetic field around the human being to 
increase their consciousness, and they did it for studies for psychic abilities. Um, Nikola Tesla had his own versions, and uh, you know, believe it or not, he filed patents on these designs to magnify spiritual energy. He carried a small handheld version with him. He called it the therapy oscillator. And uh, a lot of the information they got, devices he created, was from information he got from tapping the unified information field. This one's really interesting because it was owned by Nostradamus, and um, the record shows that it was given to them by to him by the Knights Templar, which were the creators of the banking system. That was how the Jews were able to transfer money from other areas of the continent, long distances, um, to Jerusalem when people would make their pilgrimage. But uh, he used to use this. The, it was called, it was described as a metal egg, but he, um, Nostradamus himself, referred to it as the egg of prophecy. And if you get inside of it, then you would have visions. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. You know, and they, they've known this for a long time. Um, the idea that somebody was disemboweled and put in one and wrapped up as a mummy, that was to prevent them from being reincarnated. That has to do with the mutiny that took place in Egypt prior to the flood. Um, the people that ruled this earth were not, they did not gain power and become the rulers of earth uh, because they, of any divine right. The people who ruled it at the time that they committed this mutiny uh, had a divine right. They, they, they were very psychic. They did have elongated heads. And the, the Rothschild family, the, the, the Sephardic Jews, the sons of Esau that escaped Egypt, were prisoners in Egypt, prisoners to the black Egyptian rulers. And they killed the ruler, and they flooded the land, and they committed genocide and killed them and emerged as the rulers of the world. And the entire earth was populated. There was, every continent was populated. If you know the real story of how creation takes place, man was actually women, a woman was created first and she was pregnant. And th that's inside of the Jewish text as well. It's right in the Sefer Zetzera. It describes how the soul ascends and how clay and dirt took form and then was imparted with electricity. And that's how they were created. Um, but this happened on every continent. Women were created on every continent. And in areas where there's lots of sun, they had more melanin in their skin than um, in other areas. Uh, and that's why there's a color variation. The whole story of the Tower of Babel is nothing but Babel. Um, the idea that we have different colors, uh, that's all that has to do with where you grew up, where your um, where your ancestors were created on the earth uh, as far as climate that's what that has to do with so all the rest of what he has to say as far as the creation story is is all nonsense you know i mean if if people didn't already live in these other places then why did they have to go conquer them and impose their their religions onto them you know what i'm saying why did they have to kill all these indigenous to get rid of all the information that they knew already and how to connect to the divine field uh, or field of divine consciousness, or unified field, unified information field. I mean, you can call it like Christ consciousness, call it whatever you want, the field exists. The internet was created to mimic what already existed in the spiritual realm. But the internet will never be superior to the unified field, you know, and the people that can connect to it. They will always know the answer. All these, this information will keep recropping, it will keep, keep reappearing, no matter what happens, because you can't hide the truth. You know, when people are connected to to the creator, to the single source, they will learn the truth and they will find out what you are telling are lies. And that's what Billy's doing. He's getting paid to socially engineer a false history so that people don't know how that the people that rule this earth came into power and even who these people are. They're hiding behind all these different identities.